If you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably know that when it comes to my defensive firearms, the only sites that I trust mine and my family's life to are excess sites, just like the ones on this Glock 43X that I carry every single day. But excess sites does offer several different models of their excellent sites, and you may be having trouble deciding which one is best for you. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some close-ups of the sites, kind of show a couple of different ones side by side. Maybe that can help you make a, an informed decision. And I got a big announcement concerning excess sites coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. And thanks for clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell and the likes and all that stuff you got to click so that YouTube knows you like this kind of video and maybe we'll notify you when I post a new one. And while we're thanking people, another big thanks to the folks at Excess Sites for being the official channel sponsor for the Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2024 SHOT Show. That was the big announcement. I've been using Excess Sites literally for years and years and years. And I'm really, really happy to have them as a channel sponsor this year. They're exactly, exactly the kind of sponsor I like to work with. Anyway, as I said, the, the folks at Excess Sites make several different versions of their excellent sites. So what I thought I would do is maybe help you decide which one's best for you and show you some close-ups, compare them side by side, and maybe you can um, have a little more information to make an informed decision. Now, to be fair, I tried to do this in live fire, and I did some shorts uh, over Thanksgiving, I think over Black Friday, something like that. And I was, I was holding, you know, gripping around in front of the camera, in front of the phone on the tripod, trying to do and Most of the comments I got were about my horrible marksmanship. And look, it ain't great to begin with, but you try doing it, focusing in the camera and looking into the camera and trying to, it adds a whole nother layer of complexity to, to what is already not my best, my best uh, topic subject. So anyway, without any further ado, I've got um, just a backdrop here just so you can see the, the, the uh, contrast. We're not shooting this in the house. And so let me just go over some of these different sites, show you which ones, tell you which ones they are, and maybe you can get an idea of which one might work best for you. You want to? Okay, the first set of sites we're going to look at are the DXT2 Big Dots. These are in orange, and I'm not smart enough, apparently, to get my phone to uh, to focus on this, this much of a distance, depth of field. So we'll start with the first front of it. We'll start with the Big Dot. This is the largest front sites on the market has a little tritium vial in the center of it, and then it has this amber glow, I guess this light absorbing material around the, around the outside of it. And it glows very nice at night, but even in the daytime, it's very visible. And then the rear sights on these have also have a little tritium vial inside there with a white, little white line. And these are express sights, so they got a little shallow, shallow groove here. This is kind they use like on big game hunting in Africa. Now, maybe it's a focus now, so there that is. Now, this is the side picture you're going to get. So here's the one I usually carry, and this is the DXT2 Big Dot in yellow. And I'll change cameras to try to get these in better focus for you. So that's the yellow Big Dot. And just to compare, here's the orange Big Dot. Orange, yellow. So you see the yellow, to me, is a little brighter, especially if, if you're... <laughs> trying to target in on an orange target. So there it is on white. You can see that both of those, it's really, really easy just to go ahead and dot the eye and you're good to go. Yellow big dots again in total darkness. And you should never shoot in total darkness. Okay, the next set of sights we're going to look at here are the F8 sights. And you can see they've got a big old dot on front. It's kind of like the big dot, except You'll notice that the big dot on the left here is a rounded top and the F8 on top has a square post like more, more typical. And the reason for that is because on the back, you can see where the biggest difference is in these two. Instead of having the uh, express groove there, the F8 actually has a notch like a traditional notch and post sight and a little vial of tritium and a dot below it. And then here are the F8 sights and I've done my best to get these in focus for you. And there it is on a white background and I really like these as well because they are, have a wide enough rear notch where you can really see the division in there clearly but they've got that big old dot in front to draw your attention to the front side as it should be and on the back they've got this little tritium here which allows you just to stack the dots and not worry about the notch when it's dark here are the f8s in total darkness and then finally uh, 
These are the newest model sites. XS has the R3D 2.0, and they are tritium as well. And these happen to be a little higher. These are suppressor heights. So the, these are normal. They're higher than just a standard set would be. But you can see this features a little smaller dot on the front. It's not quite the size of a big dot. I'll show you that in a minute. And then it has the uh, very similar rear sight to the um, F8, except it doesn't have a tritium vial at the bottom. It's got one on each side. So this gives you a, a, a traditional three-dot sighting pattern with a big, big notch and a, and, a, and a bright, bright dot in the front. Here are the R3D 2.0 sights in total darkness. And again, you should never shoot in total darkness. And finally, here's an example comparing the F8 on the left with the 0.188 inch big dot front sight and the R3D 2.0 on the right with the 0.14 inch regular dot. It's a slightly smaller on the regular dot, the r 3 R3D 2.0, there again is that sight picture, the three dot, and then the traditional notch and post with one dot, the F8. So, which one's your favorite so far? I gotta be honest with you, these, the big dots, I've been carrying for several, several years, and I like them. I really do like them. They are fast and just as accurate. They're more accurate than I, ha than I have the ability to shoot, put it that way. But I gotta say, the F8s right here, which have the, uh, kind of the one dot on the under the slot in the rear. So they, the only really difference between the F8 and the big dots, the DXT2s, is that the rear sight on this one has a notch, and this one has the uh, Express Valley, Express V. So um, some people say they're a little more accurate with, with notch and post, maybe, or maybe you're just comfortable with that. I'll be honest with you, I ran these through uh, at least one day at gun sight when I was out there normally using this pistol with the big dots. And I didn't notice an improvement in accuracy or anything else, I didn't notice, but but what also, I didn't notice an detraction or any slowing down in the speed either, which I was able to get on, on target. So I think as far as that, they seem both equal to me, so. Chug Norris can pee his name into concrete. I want every edge I can get if I'm in a defensive situation. And I want, uh, these sites are, are not only fast, they're durable, steel, and they're made in the USA. And Hopefully this video has helped you figure out which ones would be best for you. Thanks again to the folks at XS Sites for being an official channel sponsor for the Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2024 SHOT Show. And again, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose and clicking all those links and stuff. I really sincerely appreciate it. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.